Hi there, this is The Biz Lounge. I'm Mark. June the 21st today, the summer solstice, the exact midway point of the year. And you know, while it may look like the FTSE 100's rip-roaring away, it's really actually just 3.7% higher from where it was at the start of the year. Today, by the way, it's down about a third of a percent. But my stock in focus today has actually outperformed the benchmark index. Costa Coffee and Premier Inn owner Whitbread's shares are up nearly 6% since the start of the year. They're actually up 3.7% so far today as well after the company issued a trading statement saying that things were looking pretty good so far. Now at Premier Inns, the hotel side of the firm saw like for like sales grow by 4.7%. That's more than double last year's 2.1%. But Costa Coffee didn't do so well with growth of just 1.1% versus 26 last time around. Now the chief executive, Alison Britton, one of the few women bosses of a FTSE 100 company, said that the group results were actually in line with expectations. So perhaps today's rise in the shares was a bit exuberant, especially given that only two months ago, the company said at the full year results that challenging times could be potentially lying ahead. This was mainly down to Brexit, but also weakness in the consumer economy as inflation starts to nudge up and also pressure on wages. So I'm still on the fence with Whitbread. It's a great company, really like it. It does pay a dividend of around 2.5% as well at current levels. Big boss time, and look, if you're a rising star in the world of business, then listen up. You may have a great idea, you may build a great company, but if you don't take care in your behavior and putting those values into your business, shareholders will force you out. That's what's happened to Travis Kalanick, who's now been forced out of his job as chief executive of Uber, the hugely successful cab hailing service. Well, the company has been embroiled in a number of scandals, including allegations of sexual harassment, questionable business practices over the last few years, and it's all culminated in a toe-curling video, apparently showing Kalanick berating one of his own drivers. Well, the firm's biggest shareholders were unhappy, so they've asked him to step aside. They're now focused on changing the entire corporate culture inside Uber and appointing a lot of new senior managers. A lot of people walked. No one's indispensable in the world of work, not even if you're the boss of a multi-billion dollar tech giant like Uber. It's worth keeping in mind, especially if you're on the way up right now. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Please share, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter if you like.